Hello, hello, hello. My name is AJ. My name is Rachel. And today we're going to do a cartoon review. Today we're going to talk about Topa Ginger. Well, Topa Ginger is not the first slice of cartoon I have seen. I've seen like quite a few of them. I've seen Doug, I've seen Pepper Ann, Brace Face. It usually is just a life that's pretty simple. But this one kind of is a little bit different. It's the same thing, but they do little things are kind of odd. For example, I don't know if you notice the clothes, they change. They do? Yeah. You didn't know this? No. I mean... No, it's because the story got me. I mean, to be honest, it, it's interesting. It's really interesting. Uh, even though the animation isn't that great. The, the channel truth, the, the animation I like for some reason. It's one of the reasons why it got, grabbed your attention. The animation is just so ugly that <laughs> you're just like, okay, where are you going with this? It, the second thing is the clothes. I think because how the slow pace in the animation, you kind of forget the clothes. All the characters, of one episode, they change about three or four clothing without mm-hmm. noticing. Except for I mean the teachers and her brothers usually the same clothes but like the girls the school makes every them one usually has different type of clothes that's unique I mean the, the only cartoon I ever seen that done before Charlie shown them Kimmy that's the only character I remember can actually change her clothes every single episode this one is more than once so that's kind of impressive yeah that's what they have to do like those details you know because that's what grabs attention I mean yes it's a, a lot of hard work doing a cartoon and just putting the same clothes on they should change it up in, into putting different clothes on grab the attention yeah, grab her attention. The story's about Ginger. She writes everything on this diary she had in her journal since she started to know how to write. She has a weird brother and a kooky mother. She has her two best friends that are weird looking. Very traditional. You have the almost high kind of curious one and you have the pathetic one kind of like a Chucky from Rock Red. Okay, now let's talk about the mean girl. She isn't that mean to be honest. Uh, that's the weird part. Like yeah. she's mean but more, sca- more experimental mean. She Actually, it's more like a person than in other mean girls. I mean, I've seen a lot of mean girls characters, but these two are the most interesting one. Yeah, they're not that mean. They're like mean, but not that mean. And then they're like sensitive because of the number one mean girl. She was really, really sad and sensitive when her mother was in the hospital. Yeah. So you see a part of her that in other cartoons you don't like the other part of her. As actually, that's the small little details so make you so special. It stands out basically. Yeah. Um. And then let's talk about her two best friends. Oh, there's not much to talk about. They're just weird. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah, as there, there's, extremely. There's like the the nerd one and then there's the calculating one no not the, oh i don't know how you call her um, she's like always into like she can be talking to a guy and she's like she'll be here and she'll be like just go for it just just do it like yeah i, I don't know what's how you call that character uh, uh, more like a uh like nosy no yeah nosy she's like a nosy almost like a reporter uh, information in officer or something like that yeah and it's like one of the girls you need to know what's what she's the one who got the information <laughs> She's like the double old seven nerd. Yeah. And then, well, that's all for character. Let's talk about the animation. Oh, the animation is, I re- re- said it before. It's yeah. ugly, but. No, ug- well, it's not ugly. It's not like you're, we're seeing a stick walking around, like a human stick. It's like. I mean, this is Chipple, the people who created uh, Rugrats and all real mm-hmm. monsters. They perfected it of the kind of the ugliness, the Russian art style yeah. that feels kind of real. Or not real, real. It's more like, like you have that scene, you see now in your parents, you like a light so bad bad like you don't want to be there because you want to talk to them yeah that's kind of feeling that the one of those things you watch you like it impress you i mean it's not bad it's just weird entertaining yeah weird entertaining it's just that you have to get used to it because you always see like perfect animation well like Um, it's chipple what do you expect (laughs) i mean there's more reason why people love chipple it's it's just (laughs) kind of uh, gritty yeah so I also mean, it's one of the first animations who ever done before is show you each year how they actually grow they actually are aging yeah. they're Th- taller that's another detail that they should be doing not like the same oh he's already he's five and he's short and chubby he's 10 and he's still short and chubby yeah. he's 20 and he's still short and chubby i know it's kind of weird it's, that's like four things that will make it so special now the music oh there's music yeah, the music is not that great. Especially, we didn't see the last uh, episode, the final season, the final episode. Mm-hmm. I saw a couple of clips. It 
kind of killed it. Like, the main character, the main voice actress, sing the final episode. This kind of like a soap opera ending. And it just killed it. Uh. I mean, like, wow. I mean, I can see she can't sing, but not as a level, like, a good dramatic ending singing yeah, kind of well, thing. I didn't hear it, so I can't say anything. I didn't finish it. I just had clips of it. So, yeah, something that I recommend. Yeah, don't watch it. <laughs> don't watch the end episode, at least. Okay, so, what else? Rating? Rating? No, the, the final, the book, no, the bad and good. Oh yeah, the bad. Sorry, the bad and good. The good is that they put lots of detail into this uh, lots in, of uh cartoon. Uh, yeah, lots of air afro effort. Uh, Effort. <laughs> yes, effort. <laughs> and lots of detail. They do put a lot of detail, though. Oh, the writing actually is unexpected. The writing. Yeah, I mean, to me, like, it's one of those uh, episodes you didn't see that her fans saw her boyfriend kind of like cheating because they're on and off again. Uh-huh. And how they tell the story, you think, ah, oh, she got to tell us, she got to get mad, all that BS. Uh-huh. In the end, you expect, like, a, this, the what's going to happen exactly, but no, you reverse it. It did something like. I never thought of that. They ha- yeah, and it also had lots of twists in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the cartoons. Yeah. You never notice that, ah, I know what's going to happen next. Yeah, you it, think you know everything. Oh, she's going to die. Or, oh, they're going to break up and she's going to slap him in the face. They no. do something different and original. That's it's, the kind of things I like. Like, they twist it up. That you think that, that this is going to happen. But no. Whoa, there's a twist. Amazingly, this show lasted about... Three seasons, 60 episodes, and a movie. A That's, movie? Yeah. This really? Is, this is actually a, a successful series. That's Just cool. a, not the final episode... Uh, uh, yeah, that's the only bad thing. The final episode. You know anything bad? Uh, to be honest, I actually liked this one, even though the thing was kind of, you know. I mean, happy. the party episode. This was cheap. Uh, well, I liked it. I really don't have anything bad to say. The music, you say it's kind of bad, but I don't. I didn't hear it, so I can't judge that. Like, like the nerd girl said, don't judge a chocolate by its cover. <laughs> What? Or how uh, was it? This is, I mean, I don't remember oh, exactly can, she said it. Uh, you can't judge. You can't judge a candy bar, but... Ah, uh, dang it. Well, close enough. Oh, I, want, I wanted to say that part so bad. Wait. I don't know where I just said it out. You can't judge a candy bar by its... Rapper. Rapper. Yeah. I say it. You can't judge a candy bar by its rapper. Oh. I went there like it's a little comedy that's kind of unexpected sometimes. Yeah. It's not outrageous. It's not like a, like a Disney channel like, oh, I have to be super outrageous. It's like, you just say it automatically <laughs> and you uh, you react to like, you can react there or not. You like you you react all late and then you start, and then you start it, laughing. It's one of those things that it's slow. Yeah. That's the best. The whole show is slow pace and react to whatever you can react to. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's... It's one of the things that kind of killed this yeah. console is the pace. No, I think it was successful because it was slow. Because it, they made it different, not like, and lots of things. Oh, we have to end it, we have to end it in the second episode. Go, 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 go. No. no. This one takes, like, it's time. It's, it's time. slow and it's nice and all that. Uh, to tell you, it's enough for everyone. I mean, the first time I saw this and the first time I come on Nickelodeon, I kind of back away because I... Once more, it's more for the female audience, not the male audience. But I keep coming back I later mean, on. But, I mean, why are you saying this for females if My Little Pony, everybody's into it? Like, guys? I think guys are more into My Little Pony than us girls. Yeah, but the thing is, My Little Pony has a faster pacing. I mean, once more, I don't hate it. I'd enjoy it. But it's one of those things like choose episodes carefully. And when you think the one you will like, watch it and you still enjoy it. After that, it's up to you. You want to see the rest of the series. Yeah. Anyways, let's do the rating. I give it a nine and a half. Uh, I have to give it an eight out of ten. Uh, let me think. Of, that's it, right? Yeah. So, so guys, um, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't Bye. forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Bye.